Okay, so this is an invaluable tool that we use. Conventional Larson cage with a top entry catching compartment and also a ground level catching compartment, particularly with when you're catching carrion crows. Nowadays, they often get caught or prefer getting caught in the ground compartment as opposed to dropping down in the top compartment, which um, magpies are more likely to get caught in the top compartment here. On this setup as well, I'm utilizing a clam trap, which have become far more useful I would say over the last four or five years. Um, years ago when I started using Larson cages, everything was caught just with top entry wooden cages. But like all species, they seem to get more intelligent. And um, now I have far more success with clam traps. Thankfully, you know, totally legal. Um, we don't need food and water in this clam trap. Um, because you're checking them every 24 hours anyway. And the same with, you know, where, where the catching compartments with the Larson cage. Obviously, the decoy compartment where we have the captive bird, um, that needs uh, a container with food that's available all the time. It needs shelter and also it needs clean water at all times. A lot of people now are using um, these pet drinkers. Um, some gamekeepers put them on the outside and attach them, um, and the birds quite happily drink out of um, you know this ball bearing section here. Um, I prefer you know making a setup and putting it inside like so. The only reason for that is um, if you're in an area with sheep. You know, the sheep could rub the drinker off on the outside. Um, so, you know, this is the setup we have here. So the clam trap or the snap cage, um, I'm quite um, specific where I like to have it. I feel as though the decoy bird on the perch, often, you know, it spends a lot of its time on the perch, eating food out of this container. So I like to set my clam trap up in this scenario like so and what i often do what i always do because we're generally using these in springtime when there's um, starting to get eggs on the ground i make a dummy nest and can use i like hard boiled eggs they just last a little bit longer and then we put the feed in this container here some gamekeepers use um, rabbit meat or uh, you know any meat I prefer dog food wetted dog food it's got all the nutrition in it um, my decoys thrive you know with that setup and the bird comes and hops sometimes I'll put a stone here and the bird will um, you know the bird we're trying to catch will jump on the stone and then jump on here and it gets caught so the reason we catch corvids they have a real interest and they can be quite devastating on um, taking ground nesting bird eggs. Um, all the red listed species that we have nesting on the moor are all susceptible from um, attack from corvids. Um, also chicks, you know, if they come across a, a young bird they will take the chicks as well. So it's not about um, obliterating the area of carrion crows or magpies. Um, it is just about reducing the impact at an important time of year, you know, March into April, then into May when birds are nesting. Yeah, so if you are in the countryside and you come across a Larson cage setup with a captive bird in it, um, we would urge everybody to leave it alone. Um, it is set there for a reason. It will be looked after with accordance to the regulations and the law. Tampering with it is a criminal offence. The reasons we use them, primarily it isn't about game shooting, it is about the conservation of all ground nesting birds across the country um, and in certain aspects other countries as well. Um, and it's vital for the conservation of many species.